Hello everyone, my name is Kathleen Webster O'Malley and I would like to share briefly about my teaching memoir, The Healing Wisdom of Dreams, how to uncover the voice of your inner being and invoke the gifts of our maternal heritage. Just yesterday I was with a circle of women. We met outdoors, uh, appropriately distanced per the continuing guidelines. Uh, for these times and in our time together we uh, we each selected a folded message from a container and then had the opportunity to share how this message resonated with us or not uh, how it was being reflected in our current lives or if it was still something we were working towards and the message that I happened to um, select from that container uh, reads sharing from my abundant consciousness. And this was divine synchronicity at its best um, because I do believe that our dreams hold an abundance of wisdom, inspiration, and guidance from our deeper consciousness. And when we explore and actively engage with our dreams, we can more readily receive from that abundant source. I know that there are others out there who would say that dreams are nothing more than random misfirings from the brain. However, my healing journey has allowed me to see and, and to know that our dreams connect us to essential, um, unknown but essential parts of ourselves, um, allowing us to reclaim what is already within us, um, you know, the essence of who we are as unique individuals and as interconnected parts of a, a greater whole. Um, dreams are also can also be playful, um, inspiring our creativity and allowing us to find more innovative ways of, of being in this world. Um, my fascination with dreams began in early childhood um, and grew from my conversations with my maternal grandmother um, she was my primary caregiver from infancy until about the age of five. And, um, and I spent many summers with her after that. And now she comes to me in my dreams. Um, she would often say to us, uh, to my cousins and to me, go to the sea, go to the sea. Um, she believed that the sea was the cure to just about any ailment, uh, physical or otherwise. And now, whenever I've been in a state of grief or um, feeling anxious or overwhelmed, um, my dreams have often taken me to the sea um, where I've found uh, comfort and, and hope and healing. I recognize that we live in a society where our nightly dreams and our visions, visions are are not, um, are not valued um, as they were by our ancestors. And um, that makes it more difficult to remember our dreams because we're not, we're not talking about them, we're not sharing them with others. I'm hoping that this book will change that um, by revitalizing this empowering practice of engaging with our dreams and sharing them with others. Um, giving them the, the dignity that, that they deserve. Um, in this book, I share some of my own journal, dream journal entries. Um, I share visual, visualizations and other practices that will cultivate a deeper sense of trust um, in our deeper consciousness and in the voice of our inner being. Um, the, these practices are also intended to invoke uh, the gifts of our maternal heritage, um, all that allows us to be nurturing, all that um, encourages life to emerge uh, from us and through us, um, allowing us to give birth and mother in various ways, you know, ultimately um, helping us to bring forth um, whatever is necessary to create a society that is uh, more just, more, more harmonious, more innovative, where each and every child um, can fully express themselves and, and all that is held within them. 
Uh, so thank you for taking this time to, to listen and um, may your dreams be a source of guidance, inspiration, and healing.